With Autodesk PLM 360, administrators can now use IP whitelisting, a method of configuring preferred network IP addresses, as a way to control group level access to their PLM 360 site. When a whitelist of IP addresses is associated with a particular user group, only members of the group signing in from one of the addresses on the list is given access to the site. Users in the group signing in from an address not on the list are denied access even though they are members of the group. PLM 360 also allows for multiple range values to be set per group, and these values are maintained even if the group access is set back to the Allow All setting. This feature is useful to protect sensitive data from within PLM 360 and restrict access from public locations such as airports and cafes or other public Wi-Fi hotspots. Note that there are safeguards in place so an administrator cannot lock themselves out of their PLM 360 site. So finally, this allows administrators to diagnose access issues without having to go in and modify permissions or a group modification by removing users. So next, let's take a look at how we configure group access for IP whitelisting. IP whitelisting is available through the Administrations menu and the Users, Groups, and Roles area. So once in here, click on Groups and identify the group that you'd like to impose whitelisting onto. Click on Edit from the right side. And once in here, click on Restrict Access to These IP Addresses. Type in a sample range and click on OK. Be sure that you click on Save, and this will save these changes to this particular group. Now we can go and log out and test this out. Now that we have the engineering group all set, let's go and test this out by logging in outside of that IP range as a user that is in the engineering group. So now I'm going to log in as a user that I have previously set up inside of the engineering group and I know I'm outside of that IP range and I'm going to get this message saying that access is denied due to IP restrictions.